Hi, my name is Cindy, and I'm going to teach you how to draw a starfish on a rock and a background of the sea. First, right now, I'm just going to sketch it, and then I'm going to go over it with shine. For now, I'm just doing the ground. Then the rock. And you can always pause the video if you're running behind. The dots I'm doing right now are the sand. I just like to do that because it makes it look more like sand. I'm not that good at drawing that much because uh, this is my first episode, so I'm really excited too. I'm doing the starfish right, starfish right now, but I messed up. And you can always erase if you mess up. I don't know why, but I just love doing starfishes. Now I put these little dots because the starfish is laying on its back. So you're going to see the little dots that are sticky. It's kind of like an octopus on its tentacles. What it wears. One more and then I'm gonna do the middle. And middle. There we go. While I'm doing this, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. Uh, well first, I'm an 8 year old girl. I have a family of 5. It's my mom, my dad, my brother, me, and my dog. That's 5. 5 people. And right now I'm doing coral. Just in case you were wondering. My dog's name is Nina. My brother's name is Toby. My name is Cindy. I think I already said that, maybe. I don't know. My mom's name is Paula, and my dad's name is Toby. Cindy. I love to cook with my mom. That's another fact. Doing more coral, and then after I finish the coral, or right now I'm doing overlapping from another coral, and after I finish doing the coral, I'm gonna do some fish. Like I said, if you're running behind, you can always pause the video. I like to do my fishes this way because that's the way I learned from my friend. Her name is Emily. I knew her since I was in kindergarten. I like to draw patterns on my sea animals, some of them, mostly fish, because it just makes it look a little cool.
I actually don't know if I like this pattern, but I'm going to keep it on the tail. I might erase it at the end. I'm doing another bigger fish and I'm going to do the eyeball and then the mouth. Then I do the fins. After you're done, just what I do. This is just, these lines on the rocks are just little scratches from the skin of the, oh, uh, what's it called? Oh, starfish. And then it's, there's a, two cracks, one on the bottom and one on the top. I just like to put my things that way. My mom says I'm creative. That's why I do those things. Now I'm starting to draw a sea lion or seal. I don't really know. Those little lines coming out of its chain or mouth are little whiskers, just in case you were wondering yet again. I'm raising the top of its fins, or, or fins, yeah, um, just because it looks better curved, not spiked. Looks more, let's say, natural. Now I'm doing the sun. You can't quite see it because my paper is kind of off the edge. At least that's what I'm thinking. Now I like to just draw clouds in the background, always. Clouds are my inspiration. Now a bird with a little baby, another bird, and then a bird with a big bird and a mom bird, a big brother, and a little sister. That's basically what I am right now. I'm a little sister of my brother. He's three years older, so he would be 11. I use Sharpie right now. I am going to use it right now. First, I'm going to do the ground. Then I'm going to trace the rock. Now I'm doing the scratch. Then the crack. And sometimes when I'm done, Doing with the Sharpie, I erase the pencil that I might have missed when I was tracing it. And if you can do that if you do the same problems or mistakes that I do. Tracing the starfish, and then I'm going to trace the little 
circle sticky thingy. <laughs> It always takes, takes just a little while to do this. Coral is my favorite part because I like making wiggly lines. They're just fun. I don't know why I like it, but it's so fun. It's me, in my opinion. Sometimes when I'm doing a line to the ground or to the bottom of the paper, I don't like to go fully because if I, if it's if it doesn't have a ground and it's just the bottom of the paper, I don't want to mess up and draw some sharpie on the split that I'm drawing on right now. Because then my family gets a little angry because it makes a big mark and you can't wash it off. Now I'm doing my other fish and the fin. And I didn't like my pattern and like I said I maybe didn't like it so I would erase it once I did trip. And that is what I did. Now when I start coloring I may not have all the colors for all the animals and all the background so I might get those later when I'm drawing. When I erase, I just like to put or take the little scraps of the eraser off my paper because I don't want to draw on it. Because if I draw on it, it's going to leave a little white. I'm not going to trace over it on the paper, so I like to get rid of all of them. Only this time, just got to trace the waves, and the rivers, and the clouds, and the sun, and that's it. And then we start to come.
I like to turn my paper for stuff just because it makes it a little easier. Because if you're doing like a curved line that's kind of hard, you can turn your paper, or if it's really long, you can turn your paper and it will make it easier. And I think we're done. Now on to coloring. Oh, no. There. I missed that. I got to do the sand dots. Now we're done. Now I got these colors, pencils, colored pencils, actually at an airport when I was going to a vacation place called Cancun in Mexico. Now I just want to shade the ocean water a little blue, not too dark. And an important thing is, really important, you don't want to draw on anything that isn't water unless the detail is blue. And when I'm done with the underwater, or something like that, most of it, I'm going to go on the top and then I'm going to shade it lighter blue for the sky. Because it's going to be a sunny day. In my drawing, you don't have to make it in your drawing a sunny day. You can make it rainy, you can make it stormy, you can make it cloudy. I just made mine a sunny day. Also, when I was drawing with my pencil, you could have drawn any other sea animal or sea creature or any other plant, sea plant, or like seaweed, or a seahorse, or any other type of thing that connects to the sea that is, lives or is in the sea, you can draw that. And I might actually draw some different details when I'm done coloring, or when I'm close to them. It also takes a little while to shade or to color in the sea as much as I did. <clears throat> the best thing I like about these colored pencils is that you can just flip them over and it will be a different color. Like if I'm using the blue to color the ocean once I'm done, I can just flip it over to orange and color it on the coral, which is right next to it. Where And right about now, I'm done. But I have to color this little section because it's a little white. There, now I'm done coloring the ocean. I'm going to put that back in my box. And I'm going to take the green and red out. And I'm going to shade in the coral green.
and I'm going to tell you a little trick that I learned all by myself. So, you make it darker on the top and then lighter as you get down. It makes it look really pretty. It's kind of hard, but don't be frustrated if you messed up. If you mess up. Done with that coral, now on to the next one. And these two corals are going to be the same type, so I'm coloring them both green. But on the next two, on the other side of the rock, I'm going to color them different colors. Maybe yellow and a different color. Then I'm gonna, after I'm done, I'm gonna draw the sand a little yellow, too, just like the coral. And the other one, I just want to color it red, just for some reason. And I'm going to color all of the sea star except for the little bubble sticky thing. Mm. Done with the starfish, and now I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna do this guy, just a lighter shade of blue. I don't know if you can really see it on the video, but I'm really doing it. I'm going to color the sun. And then where the lines are, I'm going to also color that yellow. But not too hard that you can't see the sharpie. Because these colored pencils are a little hard. Hard on color. If you do it really. If you put a lot of pressure on it. And for my fish, I'm going to draw a light shade of orange on the little squiggly line, and then I'm going to color the rest really dark orange. Jeez, my arm and my hand are starting to hurt from pressing so hard. And with that fish, now on the other one. I want to draw this one purple because this purple is my favorite kind, my second favorite kind of purple. My first favorite is purple with sparkle. Like obviously I love sparkle so much. I don't know why. Like I look I love every single color with sparkles. I pretty much also like every single color, even without sparkles. But it's even better with sparkles. And another trick is that I'm doing moss right now. And you 
sit it in, and then you draw darker, or I put more pressure, you draw some squiggly lines to make it look a little fluffy. That's another trick I learned by myself. Now I'm going to draw a little one, or kind of big actually, and it, the starfish is going to be laying on it, because it feels fluffy. <laughs> now I might not have all the colors for every one of them, so I'm going to draw Right now, until then, I'm gonna draw the little circle stickies on the starfish red, but after, I'm gonna get brown for the, um, what's it called? The sea lion, or sea, actually, never mind. The sea lion, or seal, that's it. Sea lion or seal. And I'm going to get brown for that, and then I'm going to get gray for the rock. And they might be crayons, because I don't think I have any colored pencils of those colors. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the colors, see? Brown and gray. I'm gonna do gray first for the rock and then the brown for the seal. Like I said, it's always easier to turn your paper when you're shading or drawing. Also, I just wanted to mention that the surface is actually the main thing I wanted to draw. I just like to be creative and draw some other things like in the background. Now I'm drawing my sea lion gray, or gray, what am I saying? Brown, and that brown. And when I draw sea animals, I always like to draw it in one line or one direction unless there's a way in another direction like the tail now i'm calling the sand yellow And after I'm done, I'm going to do this sky. I think my ground is a little plain, so I'm actually going to draw a seashell as best as I can. First in pencil, and then I'm going to trace it in chart. One more, and then some three lines at the bottom. Now I'm going to trace it with Sharpie. and then the little curves.
When you, a little tip is that when you are drawing shells like this, you always want to make the little curves kind of connect it a lot. But at the top, you can leave them a little space out since they curve. Then I'm going to color that in purple, just like my fish above. I'm going to color around it, still sand, or sand. When you're coloring, when you're doing something around it or next to it, you don't want to color the other color the same one as the one that you're drawing in, because then it won't look really good. You might think it's like a camouflage, unless it, it is camouflage unless it's supposed to be like that. 